And now it's time for the latest Bat Ship Crazy News with Charlie Cooper and the lovely Nadira. Charlie? Thanks, Dave. Well, gang, what do you know? The Global News Wires bring us ever more proof that the world is going batshit crazy. First up, a Brazilian DJ was robbed while broadcasting his show. Tiago Amorim da Silva was happily doing his overnight show on Verde e Rosa radio station when, around 2 a.m., two men broke into the studio and demanded money. The thieves failed to realize, however, that the robbery was being broadcast over the air. Over a hundred listeners to the show called the police, who promptly arrived and arrested the would-be robbers. Approximately five minutes after their arrest, the station's management offered to hire the crooks to work in the advertising sales department. Seems that in radio sales, bursting into studios unannounced and making ridiculous demands is a highly sought-after skill. I had no idea. And we've got beer news, Charlie. A brewery in Greenland is producing beer using water that was melted from the Arctic ice cap. It is the first ever Inuit microbrewery, incidentally located in Narsak, a small town about 390 miles south of the Arctic Circle. The brewers claim that the water is at least 2,000 years old and free of minerals and pollutants. The beer contains 5.5% alcohol and cost about $7 per half-liter bottle. It is shipped to Germany to be bottled. Reports are that the first 66,000 liters of the new dark and pale ales are on their way to Danish markets, but brewery owner Steen Utsen said that with a capacity of 400,000 liters a year, the brewery has ambitions well beyond Denmark. He says they've had inquiries from the U.S. and Germany and will probably be launching it on the German market in about six months. Speaking of beer, here's a heads up for the next time you get completely shit-faced in Tijuana. Don't ask the waitress to marry you unless you really, really mean it. There's a new law on the books in Mexico that protects brides who are jilted at the altar. Grooms can be arrested for the offense, says a public attorney, and the bride can also demand monetary penalties from the groom for a quote-unquote moral damage. I think I'm going to use that when I get back home. Hey, baby, how about you me go commit some moral damage? According to a new study, blondes may have more fun, but redheads have more sex. The study by a German sex researcher looked at the sex lives of hundreds of German women and compared them with their hair color. The data apparently indicated that the sex lives of women with red hair were clearly more active than those with other hair colors, with more partners and having sex more often than the average. The research shows that the fiery redhead certainly lives up to her reputation. Researchers also noted that women who dyed their hair red from another color were signaling they were looking to hook up. You know, Nadir, I'm noticing a sort of reddish tint to your hair these days. Anything uh, you, you want to tell me? Use your imagination, doll. I, I, I am, believe me. And last but not least, somehow the weirdest things always seem to happen in Romania. Police stopped a 24-year-old woman as she tried to get off a city bus after other passengers said they saw her steal a cell phone. But a search of the woman's belongings failed to turn up the phone, so police decided to call the number to see where it was. They promptly heard a muffled ringing sound coming from under the woman's dress. The woman was taken to a local police station where a strip search by female police officers revealed she had hidden the phone, Pulp Fiction style, up her ass. One police officer said, quote, We've had people hiding things in their bras and underwear before, but this was a new one. The station medic extracted the phone and sprayed it with disinfectant before, handing it back to its owner. When asked if the phone still worked, the owner said it powered up okay, but the reception was shit. And that's the latest in batshit crazy news from Radio First Termer on the Big 69. And if you think we're crazy, remember, all of that shit actually happened. Back to you, Dave. Thanks, guys. The Radio First Termer Rat Gang would like to tell you right now that we have upped our standards. So now it's time to tell you to up yours. Blood Rock. Double Cross. And the hits just keep on coming. Oh yeah, got to get it. Nah, nah, nah. Well, my friends all told me about the things you said. When I get you. 
you're gonna be dead Don't try to run, there ain't no place to hide Cause I got justice on my side Not a double cross, think it's time you lost You deserve everything you Never been said Well can you see Or will you never know Or are you moving Way too slow Not a double cross Think it's time you lost You deserve Everything you do me a favor. Keep on rocking with the big 69. Here's war. Spill the wine. Caressing my face As 
I fell asleep and dreamed. I dreamed I was in a Hollywood movie and that I was the star of the movie. This really blew my mind. The fact that me, an overfed, long-haired, leaping gnome, should be the star of a Hollywood movie. Mm. There I was. Mm. I was taken to a place The Hall of the Mountain King I stood high upon a mountain top Naked to the world In front of Every kind of bird There was long ones Tall ones Short ones Brown ones Black ones Round ones Big ones Crazy ones Classic Dave Rabbit. In answer to some of your questions as what the base commander thinks of me, here are his exact words. If I were meeting a son of a bitch, I'm gonna walk up and I'm gonna hit that motherfucker right square in a goddamn teeth. More than one. Would you believe that's what the base commander thinks of me and my nasty ways? Tisk, tisk, tisk. Radio First Termers, Termer, Iraq. You know, it just goes to show you that no matter what theater you're in, no matter what base you're on, no matter what year it is, or no matter what war you're fighting, some things absolutely never change. We, uh, I don't think we're telling tales out of school here, Dave, to mention that we don't do this in a vacuum. We've got some friends on the ground who help us out. So, with that in mind, what the base commander used to have to say about us, uh, we asked one of our friends to sneak into a meeting on the base earlier this week because we've told everyone we're coming we're doing this show we've made no secret about it and uh here's what the base commander had to say captain you're aware of the situation with this rabbit fucker coming out of my base aren't you aren't you captain i don't expect anything to happen on my watch all right if that fucker shows up here it's your ass and you'll be eating sand for a fucking million years do you hear me you make sure you find this rabbit fuck. Yes, sir. This ain't fucking Saigon. Yes, sir. You know, he was lucky back then. He's probably a pussy, too. I have no pussies on my watch fucking up my base. Isn't that clear? Yes, sir. Get out of here. Get that fucking job done. Yes, sir. How's that sand taste, you fucker? Get going. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. <laughs> the more things change, the more they stay the same, huh? 35 years later, he's still an asshole. I tell you, no ma and no matter who's wearing the bird, <laughs> eh, never stops. Oh, well. 
What are you going to do? I tell you what we're not going to do. We're not going to step on the grass. Oh, good. The song's playing. I couldn't hear it for Can a second. Can we smoke it? Um, I don't know. Maybe. You you got any? Can we smoke it? Do you have any? <laughs> Give me a minute. All right. Excuse me. I've got to light up. Oh, yeah. Nadira is the queen of resourcefulness around here.
What a waste of good grass. I'm in downtown Saigon. We're doing the show. We're in a long fucking song that lasted like 32 minutes. And we're all wondering, you know, how much longer we can stand it. And I decide I'm going to go down the hall and get a quick shot of back. I go in, I find Bambi, my favorite whore. Go into the room, take our clothes off. Real sensual music in the background. I begin to mount her. And I give her two minutes of hard, rocking, and rolling, pulsating sex. I reach over and grab my money. I pull out a $20 greenback. I hand it to her. She looks at me with an abandoned look. She says, Dave, how come you're giving me money for nothing? (laughs) And Dave, 35 years later, how's that jackrabbit working for you now? Well, let's put it this way. I've just recently purchased 3,000 shares in La Vitra. (laughs) Money for nothing. 
This is the longest fucking goddamn song I've heard in my lifetime. Where the fuck you get this? Certainly the longest guitar solo I've ever heard. I don't know. The voice of news, information, and hard acid rock music. This is Radio First Termer at 69 megacycles on your FM dial. Radio First Termers, Termer, Iraq. I want to take this opportunity to personally thank a few groups and individuals for being my inspiration and support over the last 35 years. First, my original partners in Saigon, Pete Sadler and Nugent. You two were my secret weapon. Next, the individuals and organizations who gave, like the Phoenix, Dave Rabbit and Radio First Termer, New Life from the Ashes, David Zeiger with Sir No Sir, Corey Dietz with About Radio, Davo, Bob and Frank from The Fighting 15th, Pat and all the members of the Free Radio Network, FRN, Ragnar and Pirates Week, Alex, the Pirate DXer, the Worldwide Pirate Radio Network, Simon, Bill and Mark from AboveTopSecret.com, Johnny and Brian from Podomatic.com. My brothers and sisters of the Air Force, Navy, Army, Marines, as well as all of our military allies around the world who stand opposed, put their lives on the line and tell each of us, nothing is going to happen to you on my watch. My wife, kids, grandkids, family, and friends who have always encouraged and supported me. Without question, all my fans around the world who have kept the legacy of Dave Rabbit and Radio First Termer alive by propagating the original show for over 35 years. And the one individual who was most responsible for resurrecting Dave Rabbit and Radio First Termer by making it an internet phenomenon, my agent, webmaster, and friend, and the creator of the official Radio First Termer homepage, Will Snyder. And finally, as we begin a new era for Radio First Tremor, with a new team, boldly going beyond the limits of sanity and good taste, but dedicated to just one thing, our primary mission of Radio First Tremor, to unselfishly serve and entertain our troops that are in harm's way, my partners in crime, my co-host, Charlie Cooper and Nadira to welcome you home meantime sending you all my love and peace kisses and hugs 
Thank you for listening. We love you. Charlie. Thanks, Nadira. Yes, with grateful appreciation to all who have gone on ahead. This is Radio First Termer Iraq. I know some people may say that we're some old people playing old music, and yes, we may have to ask a bit of indulgence from you for that. But folks, no matter what music we may play, we're in here because you're out there, and we just want to brighten your day a bit if we can. No matter what CNN, ITN, the BBC, the AP, and who knows who else may try to say, know this, there are a lot of people who understand and appreciate your sacrifice, your courage, and the dedication you have to your country. You may not like the job, but you do it anyway, and you do it with a collective valor that is nothing short of superhuman. I wish there were a better word in the English language than thank you, because for all that you do, it's just not enough. But until they invent a better word, thank you, over and over again. Please know without a doubt that every one of you is in the hearts, thoughts, and prayers of all of us here, and countless numbers of people back home. The media may not get it, but lots of other people do, and we appreciate you and what you do for us. And with you guys in mind, one of the great things about Radio First Termer is that we can be all over the map, so we're going to take a little bit of stylistic liberty here and shift gears. While acid and folk rock and beat poetry were the musical language of the day the last time a version of this program was on the air, for many of the current generation of troops, those styles have evolved into rap and freestyling. And a group of active duty personnel have put out what I think is one of the greatest and most meaningful albums of American music we've seen in a very long time. Some of you may have heard of it. It's called Voices from the Front Line. It's a rap album in the tradition of some of the early socially conscious rap artists and does a better job of conveying the modern military experience than any movie, TV, show, or documentary has ever come close to doing yet. The songs and asides from the people involved make up an intense, personal, raw, and incredibly vivid account of daily life for U.S. troops in Iraq. It's a fantastic piece of work, and as my cohorts in the studio with me can attest, I don't get impressed by very much these days. So it takes a lot for me to say that this is one of the most important must-listen albums of our era. If you're stateside and haven't heard it yet, you need to. It's available at major music retailers and from the official website, VoicesFromTheFrontline.com. If you're deployed and haven't heard it, I hope you get too soon, and it is our privilege to bring you a cut from it right now. Performed by Q, a.k.a. Hospital Corpsman Quentin Gibbons, 1st Battalion, 4th H&S Company, USMC, and AMP, also known as Corporal Anthony Alvin Hodge, 9th Com Battalion, USMC. This is When I Get Home on Radio First Termer, Iraq. I've been gone for a little bit, so now you know I got a clown from the 
Voices from the front line, Q and Amp with When I Get Home. Gentlemen, I can't wait till you get home either. And to everyone from every branch, may you all come home safe and soon. Okay, Dave, wraps over. You can have your radio show back now. Thanks a lot, Charlie. Radio First Term Iraq is not your mama's radio station anymore. At least that's what she told me over breakfast. I'm sorry. I liked it so much I had to play it again. Hang on. I'll, I'll play your song now. Never mind. <laughs> fall somewhere in the desert two men are on the run oh i see you're not in afghanistan you don't mind do you uh no no that's fine okay then but they can't outrun their feelings i'm not queer well neither am i good so you wanna fuck i thought you'd never ask oh. 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 Two lives intertwined. I miss you, Osama. In a love the world forces them to deny. Why can't I quit you? Osama bin Laden, I'm an al Zwahiri in Broke Butt Muslims. <laughs> Coming soon. <laughs> right up somebody's ass. Yeah. <laughs> 
First Termer Iraq, more fun than a hole in your soap. And for those of you who love fudge, here's Vanilla Fudge. You keep me hanging on.
Vanilla Fudge fooling us all with the fake ending, and you keep me hanging on, just like the song, really. Charlie Cooper along with Dave Rabbit and the ever-foxing Nadira here on Radio First Termer. Baghdad, Iraq, rocking the Casbah and the big 6-9. And it's time for a saying from the latrine wall. Anyone can piss on the seat, be a hero, and shit on the ceiling. Led Zeppelin in the evening.
God damn, that's a good song. Led Zeppelin makes me... hot. How hot? I don't know. You be plants, and you be paid. Oh, damn. Does little Bobby want to come out and play? Oh, damn. <laughs> I want to come out and play! <laughs> The voice of news, information, and hard acid rock music. This is Radio First Termer at 69 Megacycles on your FM dial. <laughs>